Hi, it's Giggly Kiki here. So I keep seeing these amazing um, mermaid toast keep popping up on my Instagram feed. So I thought I'd have a go myself. It's the first time I've tried this, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but it's supposed to be really easy to make. You just need toast. So I've toasted this piece really, really lightly, as you can see. Looks a little bit more brown on that side, actually. Um, some cream cheese and food colouring. So I've gone with pink and a blue. And then you can add sprinkles, um, edible, anything edible, edible glitter, that's quite cool to add on to this. Um, I've decided to go with stars. So you can make this just for fun or you can actually eat it. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to start by mixing the cheese with the food dye and I am using this huge ice ball mould to do this because I thought it would be easier. You can use anything though, whatever you can find around your house. Okay, so let's take some cream cheese. I'm not sure how much I need to take. But let's just add it. We'll just add it. Oh no, that's probably a bit too much. Man, I like my cheese, but not that much. Okay, so let's start with the pink. Ooh. <laughs> I just need to add. Oh, that should be enough. It's actually quite hard to mix it in this. Lesson number one. <laughs> Probably need a smaller spoon. That would make things easier, wouldn't it? Right, I'm going to add a bit more colour in. Let me change, let me change spoons here. I've switched spoons. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't use a small spoon in the beginning anyway. Right, let's mix it. I don't want it to be red, I want it to be very pinky. Okay. I am happy with that. Let's just brush it all off. And then I will do the blue one. Okay, so let's get some more cream cheese. This is so fun, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and then add the blue dye. There we go. It's like the ocean. Ooh. Oh, the things you can do with food coloring. Just want to mix it all in. I wouldn't worry about it mixing into the pink because we're going to mix it anyway once we start spreading it on the bread so don't worry. I think we'll just add a bit more to it. create like a little purple bit in the middle which is nice okay so I'm happy with that so now I'm gonna do the fun part and I'm going to 
butter <laughs> my toast with this random mermaid paste. It would probably be easier if I actually um, use the cheese to create a layer on the bread first, I'd imagine, and then mix the colour in after. So we create a layer. there as well oh my goodness and a bit of blue I'm just gonna see what happens I am just gonna mix it all and see what happens right pink out at the top and you can see it's going purple as well which is really cool because I was actually going to get purple first because purple and pink go really well together I'm trying to create like waves like the sea like that Oh, that is awesome. So that's it in its simplistic form. <laughs> we have mermaid toast. Yum, yum, yum. And now, just for fun, I'm going to add some star sprinkles. I'm just wondering how to do it, whether it's add it just at the bottom bit. Yeah. Don't want it to look too, too messy. I'm rather happy with that and there we go <laughs> like I said before you can do this just for fun it's a really cool activity to do actually it's quite stressful even and really fun to do with the kids or you can eat it I'm sure the kids would love to eat it I'm not sure if I'm gonna try it but maybe I will maybe I won't <laughs> it is just cream cheese after all with a little bit of color in there anyway so there we go Yummy, yummy, yummy. Toast.